Hi, I'm Claire Melantine, Registered Play Therapist Supervisor and the Director of Child and Adolescent Services at Wasatch Family Therapy. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today we're going to be doing an intervention. It's an art therapy based intervention called an inside outside box. And what you're going to need for this intervention is just any type of shoe box that you want, empty. And you're going to need different magazines that you don't care about because we're going to rip them up and shred them up with our clients and glue. It's pretty simple. This is a really cost effective, very powerful intervention to use. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this with young children because their insight into self and others hasn't been fully developed. But this is a really powerful play therapy intervention that you can use with teenagers and even kind of the tweens. Um, 12 on up is a good age range to start doing this as the abstract thinking is starting to emerge and blossom in developing minds. And so what you're going to do is we're going to have our clients cover this in collage work. The outside of your shoebox is going to be how you think other people see you. Okay, so how the outside world sees you. The inside of your shoebox is going to be your true self or how you see you. So as you can imagine, this is not a one session experience. Um, typically the clients that can do this in one session are more the perfectionistic clients who are like, okay, it's all done, but they're not really getting anything out of it. It's just a task to be completed and to be completed perfectly. And so you actually want this intervention to take a space, take time and space, you know, over several weeks if possible. I oftentimes will send this home as homework for most of my clients to begin. And then I have them bring it back each session and we work on it together in session, review what they have found, like what collage has stood out to them, what words have been powerful for them. And so why you need these different magazines is you're going to, ideally, if the client is in a situation, excuse me, ideally if the client is in a situation or a home where they have excess magazines that their parents don't care about if they rip up, great. But if not, I find it really helpful to be able to give them a stack of magazines that it's okay for them to cut out words. You can see in this magazine, you know, something on the front page has been cut out. And this is what we want them to do. And so they're going to look for words that describe how they feel or how, what they believe other people feel about them. They're going to look for images. They can put words together. There's no right or wrong in this, but what we do want them to do is cover their boxes. The key to processing and exploring this intervention and any type of art or play-based intervention is you have to remember we never ask why. So you don't say, why did you put this on here, right? It's way more effective and appropriate if you can say, wow, tell me more about this. That's really powerful. What comes up for you when you look at this box right now? You can see that a lot of deep-seated feelings are going to come up. On the inside of her box, she wrote, awesome, me. And she has all these different images in her box, a sun, a beautiful tidal wave, flowers, the ocean, all of these things that were representative of her. Isn't this a powerful experience that even though she thought the outside viewed her as worthless, as a tragedy, as all these negative things, she was able to hold on to her true self and the good that she has inside. And this became her shining ray of hope. And we were able to reframe for her and help her understand and believe that the outside isn't actually so bad because she had that inside worth. Now, sometimes you're gonna have the opposite experience. Sometimes the outside is going to be all good. And then the inside is where those feelings of worthlessness or darkness and despair are hidden inside. But this type of an intervention is gonna give you such insight into your clients. Now, this is so powerful with teenagers. I also will do this oftentimes with my adult clients. I love using this intervention because like the old saying says, a picture tells a thousand words. And so often what we find is there's, that's the power of play therapy is that Play and art become the words when there's no words to describe how it feels inside. So I hope you'll use this intervention in your own practice and find 
This journey is just as powerful with your clients, and I look forward to seeing you at my next video.